through Comlova lineage. Um, Gabe and Chris, I will hand it over to you. I presume you are sharing. Yeah, I can start by sharing my screen. Um, thanks again, Divya and Stripe folks for sharing that demo. It was really exciting to see. And I think if you guys don't contribute back to the open source, you're going to see a mob of people with USBs and hard drives showing up at your office soon. So that was very cool. I really like seeing it. Um, so today, Chris and I are very excited to give you a further update on column level lineage in Data Hub. Harshal teased this a little bit in the ingestion update, and we're going to be able to talk a little bit more about what that will look like holistically uh, across Data Hub. So before I get started in what we did, I want to give a background about why column level lineage might be helpful. And if any of these use cases sound helpful or, meet, or resonate with you, then listen on, because I think you'll be really excited to hear what we have to share. So first of all, uh, why column level lineage? And it's really about trying to understand how columns were calculated and how columns are being used. So for example, um, you might be interested in, for a given column, does it read from any sensitive data? So was sensitive data ever used in constructing the value of a particular column? Or maybe um, what approach was used to come up with a given aggregation? Was this metric calculated using created at or did it use updated at as a field um, to, cal to calculate? Uh, other, you know, other, uh, another example might be what sort of count was used um, to create a derived field. At the same time, you also might be interested in understanding how was a given column being used. So um, if you're interested in maybe deprecating a field or changing a field's meaning, what is going to be the entire impact of that? Who all depends on a given field in particular? You also might be interested for a given metric or given dimension, uh, what dashboards visualize this slice? Um, how can I see this metric being uh, visualized across all my different tools or you know, what sort of charts or dashboards are using a metric as a given cut. Um, so all these different types of use cases come about really understanding how do columns depend on each other across your entire uh, data ecosystem. And if this, these use cases sound useful, listen on because we have a very exciting update to share. Um, so a little drum roll. What we're introducing is the Data Hub column lineage experience. And this is a real screenshot, not a fake one. So the column lineage experience comes with a few different things. Firstly, this is something that already exists, APIs for emitting column level lineage. So if you have this metadata already, you can emit this to Data Hub as of today uh, and get it into the system. We're also introducing something that Harshal teased just a few minutes ago, which is automatic column level lineage extraction from Snowflake and from Looker. And something that we're about to show to you is visualizing column lineage in the Lineage Explorer. So being able to see not just connections at the data set level, but being able to expand that out and seeing how columns depend on each other, both from an upstream and downstream direction. And then finally, on top of that, using impact analysis to understand not just one hop, but the entire collection of entities across your whole data stack that depend on a column or in the inverse direction, the entire set of entities that were consumed to produce a column, not just one hop or two hops away, but as many hops across all different data platforms and uh, different data set entity types. Um, so this is what we're going to be demoing to you in just a moment in terms of what's coming next. So Snowflake and Looker automatic column level uh, lineage extraction. This is coming out in the next PyPy release that's happening this week. Some user experience changes that you're going to see very soon. So this is going to be starting to come out in the next server releases. Point nine will include column level lineage visualization on the Viz tab. And then after that, we'll be fast following with uh, column level lineage impact analysis to see those many, the list of entities that depend on it from many hops away. We're also going to be extracting and, vi and visualizing transformation logic from Snowflake and Looker. So you'll be able to see, in addition to um, the, the connection itself, you'll be able to see the logic that was used to produce that column. Um, 
we're also going to be rolling out automatic column level lineage extraction from BigQuery and Redshift and Spark and Tableau later on. So that's the setup. Now to see it in action, I'm going to cut over to my friend Chris, and he'll be able to show you uh, what it looks like um, in action. Awesome. Thanks, Gabe. Um, I might take over sharing screen. Would you mind? There we go. All right. So hey, everyone. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to be giving you a sneak peek at what column level lineage looks like in the Data Hub UI. So previously, we could only show you table level lineage, which is what you see right here. Uh, but for all the reasons that Gabe previously mentioned, uh, there's a strong desire to see exactly what's going on between the columns of these tables and all the relationships that happen there. So I'm happy to show you that you can now toggle this little switch and boom, there you go. You can now see all of the columns for all of these tables if they're available and all the relationships that we have between these columns. So let's dig into this data together and uh, think of a few potential scenarios where column level lineage might solve some problems that you have. So in this first scenario, let's imagine that you're looking at Looker and you see that lifetime purchase amount is actually larger than you would expect it to be based on your understanding of this data and where it's coming from and everything like that. So I want to do some uh, research to see exactly how we're getting lifetime purchase amount, what's coming, like where it's coming from, and see if there's anything off. So what I can do is I can hover over this column and I can actually see the whole lineage, both upstream and downstream. As you can see, I can hover any column that has lineage and then uh, analyze it from that point. But on top of that, we can also click and lock in that lineage, which can be pretty useful as this graph gets pretty complicated, as you can imagine. You can zoom in, drag, all that sort of good stuff. So let's think about that scenario where lifetime purchase amount is inflated. So let's look back. We see that it's also coming from this looker view and this snowflake table, both with columns of the same name. And then if we go back another hop, we can see that the snowflake table purchases, it's coming from total amount. And then it clicks. Actually, total amount is the wrong column. It should be coming from purchase amount. That's why it's probably inflated. Awesome, column level any edge helps solve the issue at hand. And now we have an action item to go fix how we're getting this data. So that's one scenario. Let's imagine a different one where, let's take this uh, users table, for example. Users has a uh, column email, and we know that this email column has an issue where we're not updating it properly for some reason. So I wanna see everything that's downstream of this email column in order, let's click on that, in order to see everything that could be affected by this potentially wonky data. So we can use that same situation where we hover and click and lock it in. And now you can see all of the downstream columns that are being affected by this email column, a whole bunch of other email columns, as you could potentially imagine, from all these different tables and explorers, affecting potentially many different assets that you have in your uh, data inventory. So you could also imagine that this graph could get pretty wild as the number of nodes increases and like these columns fan out. And it might just be kind of hard to understand how many things are being affected and what is actually happening here. So as Gabe also mentioned, we now allow you to have impact analysis as well on the specific column level. So let me show you that. So let's go to this user's uh, uh, profile page. And then we're here on the schema tab. You can see this email column that we care about. We know that this one's the one that might be affecting things downstream of it. We have this new menu here on the right where you can click and you can jump straight into column level lineage for the email column. You can see that email is selected here in this column level lineage dropdown. And so everything that we're seeing here is gonna be one hop away because it's one degree of dependency right now from the email column. All of these assets directly uh, consume this email column. And we also call out what specific columns on these other assets are uh, consuming this email column. Um, on top of that, you can go two hops away or three plus, AKA all of the data that consumes this email column, everything that could be affected by this broken column that might be then throwing data off entirely elsewhere. So now you have this whole list and you have all the columns specifically on each of these entities that, you, that are consuming this and care, care about it. But if you're curious, for example, one that's further downstream, like this act, active customer LTV is four hops away, you're curious about like what path actually it takes to get there, you can go to it and you can click on the column itself. And now you see the specific path 
from user's email all the way to active customer LTV email and everything in between. And then this also supports potentially multiple paths. You can imagine where the case there's a divergence of data and then a convergence later on as it like goes down, we would just have a list of multiple different paths going down showing every possible situation where user's email connects to active customer LTV email. And then on top of that, um, we also, let's say you're looking at this column level lineage, but then you are getting tired of it. You want to see the table level lineage. You can always toggle column level lineage off. And now you see all the table level lineage. You can always toggle it back on. And of course, you can select the drop down and see any different column that you care about specific for impact analysis on that column. All right. That's it for me, gang. Amazing. Chris and Gabe, thank you both so much. Again, ton of love in chat. Um, this is one, Calm Level Lineage has been a long time coming and highly requested and highly desirable throughout uh, for, for many, many uh, weeks and months. <laughs> so I am just overjoyed that we are making this available. Um, and man, that looks super slick.